Making healthy choices is inspired by memories I'd made with my children and our way of life as Alaskan natives. A long time ago, my family moved to Alaska. I had to learn how to live as our ancestors did with the seasons and respect for this great land. Things were much simpler back then when there were no TVs, phone lines were shared with our neighbors, and the power in town was turned off at midnight and turned back on at 7 a.m. I look back at those times and I smile and I cherish the memories. Those were the good old days of my childhood. Now it is my turn to pass on these traditions. I choose to live in Alaska because of our natural resources and our way of life as Alaska natives. Over time I have come to realize that my body was in tune with the land and the seasons and I knew when it was time to get our boat ready to go fishing. The spring tells me that it's time for seaweed and gumboots, sea legs and beach greens or sea asparagus. My family has been blessed with enough food to share with family that has moved away with our community, elders, and our friends. There are always potlucks and memorials to dance and feast throughout the year, honoring our loved ones and giving thanks to our Creator. Another season has come and it is time to try to get my family together to make a few new memories. This is not an easy task. Kids help get the boat ready reluctantly, although they have always talked about how glad they are once we were out on the water. My mother taught me something I'd like to pass on to my children. As we work together, she told me, always add the love. This goes for everything that is good. If you're going to take the time to do something, do the best you can or don't do it at all. While we cut up our salmon and put it into jars, always do your best and don't forget to add the love. Take the time to let the ones you know how much you care. A few, have, a few kind of words goes a long ways and you never know when you're making a memory. I do my best to pass on our culture and our traditions of gathering and dancing, language and carving. I do not claim to know everything but share what I know and try to learn as much as I can. Our way of life is in danger of being lost forever. When something is gone, we can never get it back. Make some healthy choices and learn your culture and pass it on. Try to not go to bed angry. Always have forgiveness in your heart. Look out for the ones you are close to. These are some of the lessons my mother has taught me. There is one more I'd love to share. We all know the right road to take but few of us do.